Hey! You graffiti in my wall? <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> what are you doing? I am cutting some lambs back so we can get in here and dig some tin out. So we're running out of tin, guys, that we can use for the raised beds. We have found that the raised beds are going together a lot faster using tin. And we got a ton of it. We just haven't dug it out from back here yet. Right. And I did find out that you can't use those little bitty chainsaws <laughs> for the bigger limbs. It zaps the battery. Yes. All right, you guys, we've got several out of here. The problem is, is that the further down we get, we've been super careful about snakes, but the further down we get, the more and more spiders we're finding. So you, you can see the spider webs. Now, neither one of us are super scared of spiders, but Rusty has a bad experience with spiders. Um, back in 2020, he was bit by a or yeah by a brown recluse and ended up in the hospital for five days and uh it was during the pandemic so he was in there by himself and you see four years later it's still bruised and a bullseye yes so and thankfully he got in in time because rusty is diabetic so uh sores and things like that uh take longer to heal um any kind of abrasions or cuts or um but luckily guys we had a company reach out to us yes. who, who reached out to us badger power badger power badger power and they sent us this cool little this little leaf blower i say little leaf blower you guys this is awesome it it's amazing uh it's a 42.7 cc um Blowing capacity is 18 meters cubed per minute. I think is what that's telling me. Let me, let me put on my glasses here. Yeah, my... Uh, Your reading glasses? Yeah, my reading glasses here. So, you guys have trouble reading. Yep. This is his quick tip. You use your camera and then you can blow it up and see yeah, what absolutely. it says. Engine type is two stroke air cooled. Displacement is 42.7 cc's. Engine power is 1.2 kilowatts. Blowing capacity is 18 met, uh, meters cubed per minute. You guys, I don't know how many minutes that is. 18 meters cubed. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Don't care. All I know is it blows. Yes. And so. it blows good. Um, it's a little dusty because uh, we have used it once before. Um, it was in an emergency, so we were not able to shoot a video um, using it. But we are going to show you guys how it works today. I'll show you how easy it is to start. On this side at the bottom, you can see the, the primer bulb down here. That is technically a fuel pump. Eight, nine, ten. It's in start position. Okay, that's 
It's fairly quiet. All right, it's warmed up. There we go. of takeaways here i had not ran this yet all right so a couple of things rusty and i used to own a commercial lawn care business and we used to have backpack blowers uh in our business and those things were so bulky and heavy but um you guys this is lightweight it's compact and it, and you guys saw it was blowing even a uh, small um small sticks sticks and, and yeah pieces dirt. of bark and yeah. things like that so it's got a lot of power i'm really impressed with it me too yep and if you look in the description below there is a link for these and there is a discount code to go with it so yes you guys this is perfect for um i mean i i know we're going to use it for a lot of things yes um this makes uh you know cleaning out the shop a lot easier mm -hmm. uh it's going to make that uh gathering leaves for compost is going to be awesome and blowing away spiders yes <laughs> it, it works out it's great so uh also it's loud so it's going to scare away anything like if there were snakes in there or something like that Yeah, but that. it's not overly loud yeah but i'm saying it's yeah. you know it's not battery operated yeah yeah <laughs> we have a battery operated one does yeah. not work well it, it dies within like five yeah, minutes say you get five six minutes out of it that's about it yeah well we're going to go ahead and finish loading uh these and then we will use this backpack blower as we need it let's do it all right thanks badger thank you badger
All right, sir. All right, so as you guys saw, we got all this tin pulled out of there. Roughly counted 22 sheets of this heavy tin. I'm hoping all of it's usable. There's gonna be a few pieces we gotta trim, do some straightening and bending on. But otherwise, that's gonna give us several more raised beds, you guys, and that's what we need. These are gonna be 20, I think I measured 23 inches, 28 inches tall. It's a little bit, about five inches taller than that. I think it's going to be about the same height as this. I think these are 28s. Yep, these are 27. So if y'all were watching earlier, Rusty was tagging. He was graffitiing. No. <laughs> he, uh, we're keeping all these, like this one's two west and that one's two east since we're making two beds out of this one. And then that one is just one. But uh, we're gonna try to keep track. I've been um, keeping books in and a notebook of what's being planted and when it's being planted and um, just trying to be very organized this year. Uh, I've never, ever been this organized ever in my life. You gotta wait for me, sir. <laughs> I was just looking to see if it had wiggle how far down we have to go before we just pull stacks. Or pull it and then drive. That's what I was thinking, if we get oh. pulled, but I, I tried wiggling those twice. Uh, yeah, no way. Those are some really heavy duty. So if you guys remember when we went and got um, tin from that one place, it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's heavy tin, but look at this. I'm just showing the difference. Mm -hmm. There is no wiggle. This is heavy, heavy stuff. This is cow. What? The way I, to me, that is tin, corrugated tin. This is corrugated galvanized steel. That's how much thicker this is. That stuff will bend. You can fold it around. You guys, that, this is not bending. So, Russ had originally brought this stuff over, and this is what we're wanting to use to uh, close in half of that lean-to so that we can make a storage and possibly be a room for our freezers for our pork and our chicken uh, that we sell. Chicken. Chicken. For our pork and our chicken that we sell. So, um, but he said, well, we can always get more and let's see how this is. But guys, that man went and married himself a really short girl. And that, how wide is that? that was gonna be a really tall bed. And it's like I said, I told him, 38. 38 inches. So 38 inches, like we don't even, we're not even building my counters in the kitchen that tall. And the problem is, is I could work all the way around it, but I probably would not be able to reach the middle easily, especially once you have the growth, once you have stuff growing in there and you're trying to get around stuff, I'd be climbed up in the middle of that thing. Like, where's Rachel? In the middle of the flower bed. She's in the raised bed. <laughs> She's in the raised beds. So uh, we opted not to use those, which is good because we can use them for yes. that uh, freezer room that we're wanting to build. And we have plenty of this. And there's still some more over there. Not a whole lot, but there not is Not a still. whole lot, but there is a little bit more over there, but we just have to move more tree limbs. Yeah, we're going to have to trim that tree up big time to get it to work. He's singing to his chickens. Don't start giving me more than one egg a day, you're gonna find yourself free kids. <laughs> What'd you get? One? One. 
So I got out of there yesterday too. They might have laid out here because I left them out this afternoon. All right, let's hope there's no, no spiders. Spiders! Don't forget this in the seats. They're like. Tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you. Mama. I tell you Papa too. We are out and about. And we are, what town are we in? We're in Chelsea, Oklahoma. And we are on Route 66. Route 66. And that's a cool sign, but there's also something else that's pretty cool that we wanted to show you guys. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this is going underneath the road. Yes, this is the Route 66 underpass. Underpass. We learned about this from Sean at Blood yeah. Straight Paint and Kelly from Rebel at Heart yeah. were telling us about this and yeah. we had to come and see it. Yeah, I had to come see it for us. Okay. So how cool yeah. is this? Hmm. And people have written all over it on this side. That's cool that they left a, you know, one wall white so that you can, you know, kind of, kind of deter the graffiti a little. Yes, do your own graffiti, yes. As above, so below and beyond. <laughs> Desi, do you want to write on the wall? We didn't, we didn't bring a marker. We didn't bring a marker. We're going to have to come back and bring a marker. Look at that, Desi. End of the trail. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. You know what I think of when I see this Sears house? What? That not only is probably, they probably call it the Sears house here because it was the Sears family built it. But used to be back in the day, you could order these type of kits from the Sears catalog. Really? And they would send you all the material you needed to build that house. Came in on the train. Well, look, we should write this. Sub two. No. <laughs> that's called graffiti and tagging a wall that you should not. Yeah, I mean, that's. Let's see, this is stolen land. That's pretty sad whenever you've got a whole wall to write on and they're going to write on paintings. That's yeah. true. Cattle drive. Yep, but it brings you back out to the other side of the road. Shoot, what a long walk. It was a long walk. Hi, Desi. thing trying to cheat the system and we're going that way. we are we're gonna go right back under but what you gotta make the whole, you trip. Gotta make the whole trip that's what i said trying to cheat the system no, I'm not. <laughs> i like the way they bolt the grates over the steps that way that yeah it's then i'm good it's a good idea like that yep <laughs> that's pretty cool just thought we'd bring you guys along on a little adventure. Working on? I am working on a free mower. Free mower? A free mower. 
You guys, we are so blessed. Don't mind the hair. It's It's been a crazy day. It's windy as I'll get out, but um, we have been so blessed over and over again. If you guys have watched us for any length of time, you know that we just have friends and family that just are amazing and awesome. Yes. Ray and Lori are really good friends of ours. Um, they're not even friends, they're family. Um, they have been to... Lori's been making birthday cakes and stuff for us since our 25 year old was little. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they, they've been, um, great, great family. And Ray called Rusty the other day, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, Hey, I have a Cub Cadet zero turn mower out here. It's okay, he's think the clutch is bad. It's okay, he said, you want it? Sure. He said, that has not been started since 2016. So, he dug it out of the barn. He called, said, hey, go come and help me get this thing out of there. I can't figure out how to put it in neutral and get it rolled out. Otherwise, I'd bring it to you. I said, don't worry about it. We'll come down and pick it up. We drove down there today, pulled out the old Google machine, YouTubed it and found out how to put this thing in neutral. We loaded it up, got back here to the house. Now I'm gonna, I'm trying to see if we can even get it to crank up, fire up, turn over something. So. You guys, this thing is in great condition. Um, you know, we, we know it has to be worked on, but I mean, the seat's not even torn. Like that's, that's unreal. <laughs> so, uh, Rusty's going to work on this for a minute, see what he can get figured out. Tinker around for a minute. See what happens. Best joke. <laughs> Hey, this thing is on. Is that supposed to be on? What's on? Yeah, that's part of the brake. Oh, okay. Part of the brake is on. Okay. <laughs> Does not want to fire like that, so let's go to the next step. <laughs> we used to run a commercial lawn care business. Maybe that's why we're not in business anymore. <laughs> eh? Yeah, yeah. Back in gear. All right, let's see if it refire. You got the stuff back on or not? So he says the blades don't work on it. So that's where the tinkering, the real tinkering is going to come in, right? Yes. Real tinkering. 
Tinkering, tinkering. <coughs> For those of you that don't speak Okie, that's tinkering. 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 Well, tinkering means we're going to work on this here mower. We're going to work on it up in here. Come up in here. Over here, see what this thing going to do over here. So back in the day, Rusty and I used to run Dixie Choppers, didn't we? Yeah, you gotta be cool to mow with chrome. <laughs> and it is not about how fast you mow well, but how well you mow fast. You better stop talking a different brand sitting on that Cub Cadet because it's gonna kick you off. Oh no. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta make sure all the wires are hooked. I don't hear it clicking or anything the way it is. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Okay, you see this red wire and white wire coming up there? Red and yellow, yep. Okay, let's see your white down here. Okay, you <laughs> see that there? And then there's wires in plastic also. Mm hmm Okay. Ow. So. You okay? Yeah, I hit my head. Okay, would you turn the key just to power? Okay. And then flip the PTO switch on and off. It's not even plugged in, babe. Oh, it is. But it's it comes out. Yeah. That's okay. It. Hold on. Pull it up. Pull what? Oh, the, the PTO? Switch. Yeah. Is the ignition on? Okay. It doesn't have any either. Yeah, I can't tell. Okay, somehow I lost some video footage somewhere, but Rusty deduced that the PTO switch was not hooked up. It actually had a different PTO switch hooked to it, and a fuse was blown. So we went to town to go get a fuse. Okay, guys, so we made the trip to town last night. By the time we got home, it was dark. We got us a new fuse. It's a 40-amp fuse. And can you see that that's good? Yep. All right. You see this old one. For those of you that don't know about these fuses, it's what it looks like when they're not good. There it is. Okay. Okay. We're going to put this new one in. Down in here. Okay, that is in place. Push that button in. Now we're going to turn the key just to on. Do 
You hearing that? There it is. It's our switch okay. that's bad. Can you wire it back to the original switch? I'm going to have to look at that. Our fuse is gone. Our fuse is still good. <laughs> so. So it looks like the original switch was bypassed, right? Yeah, they bypassed the original switch for some reason. I don't know if that is a something Ray did trying to figure it out or if he got it that way. So do we have another? That's it. All right. All right. All right, let's put the console back up here where it belongs and bolt it back down. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Miller. Ray and Lori are amazing people. Yes, they are. Um, they are, they're, like I said, they're family. Said this yesterday. And Ray told me, he says, this mower hasn't been started since 2016. Um, luckily for us, it was stored with no gas in it. So all we had to do is put gas in there. We stopped, filled it up even with the gas prices the way they are. Yesterday, it was, what did I say, $8.47 to fill it, which is amazing. But uh, he said that, you know, he moved it out here when they moved out here from the panhandle, just like we did. And he said, I think the clutch is out of it. That's what I remember, the clutch is out of it, which technically the clutch wasn't bad, but there was getting no electricity to the clutch. So we have fixed that problem. You guys, this is game changer because we can be out here and get this stuff knocked down, keep it under control.
what do you think? Man, that's awesome. Yeah. I haven't been on a zero turn since we had our um, lawn care business. Yes. Uh, you guys, this is a game changer for the yes, farm. Yes, it is. That's... Uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Awesome little mower. Thank you to Ray and Lori. They yes. are just amazing people. I wish that everybody had the chance to meet them because they are just... They're just such awesome people. Yes. And so, uh, like I said, we've known them for years since our kids were a little bitty. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyway. Uh, Over, I'm going to say, what, 21, 22 years now? Yeah, yeah. And they are always, um, you know, they're at all of our family events. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, all of our family functions. If they're in town, they're here. They're here, yes. <laughs> so, um, all right, you guys. Well, thank you to Ray and Lori. Um, yes. I hope you guys like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yep, share with your friends. Leave us some comments, you guys. Let us know what you think about the many blessings we've gotten, especially this this amazing mower right here, you guys. It's, it's phenomenal. But yes. most of all, <laughs> don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yep, until next time, you guys. God bless. See ya.